Text. It's been 75 years since the creation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. In this video, we look at the document's inception. The Australian Human Rights Commission acknowledges this series comes at a time of major conflict and catastrophe around the world. No person of any background should have their human rights infringed. As Article 1 of the Declaration states, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. We again call for those rights to be upheld for all. Human Rights Commission President Emeritus Professor Rosalind Croucher is interviewed. The idea of a universal declaration of human rights was prompted by the horrors of the Holocaust. Archival footage shows survivors and shattered buildings after a war. And the experiences that people had during the Second World War was a propelling moment to say, we have to do better. We have to enshrine in some universal understanding of what these human rights are. I call the General Assembly to order. Former High Court Justice, the Honourable Michael Kirby. Dr Herbert Evatt, the Foreign Minister of Australia, was extremely influential in the development of the draft and he was the president of the General Assembly of the United Nations when the draft was adopted in Paris on the 10th of December 1948. We can be proud of H.V. Evatt. Professor Croucher. Doc Evatt, as he was known, was the right person in the right place at the right time, as was Jesse Street, who played a pivotal role in advocating for the equal recognition of women. This assembly has adopted this very important declaration. We got a copy of it, which was sent to Australian public schools by Dr. Evatt from New York. And I'll never forget receiving it and studying it. And it's always been near me. It's been under the pillow uh, during my life. And it's given me uh, inspiration and an outline and an action plan for humanity that we should try to achieve. Human rights advocate Craig Foster. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights in particular to me is one of the most important documents ever written in human history. The UDHR was an aspirational document. Essentially as the Magna Carta of the whole world. Text commemorating the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This series was produced on the Gadigal lands of the Eora Nation. We pay tribute to elders past, present and emerging. The Australian Human Rights Commission logo.